Mehrimah Sultan was an Ottoman princess. She was the only daughter of Ottoman Sultan Suleiman the Magnificent and his wife, Haram Sultan. She was sophisticated, disciplined, well-educated and well-spoken princess. Mehrimah Sultan was not like the other imperial princesses in Ottoman history. She was active in political affairs even in foreign courts and had access to considerable economic resources. In Ottoman history, Mehrimah Sultan was the most powerful imperial princess and one of the prominent figures during the Sultanate of Women. Today in this video, we gathered the 10 facts you may not know about Mehrimah Sultan. Number 1 Mehrimah Sultan was born in 1522. Mehrimah Sultan was born somewhere in 1522 in Istanbul during the reign of her father Suleiman the Magnificent. Her mother was Haram Sultan, who was the concubine of her father at the time of her birth. But later, she got freed in about 1533 or 1534 and became the legal wife of Sultan Suleiman. She had five brothers, Shahzadeh Memd, Shahzadeh Abdullah, Shahzadeh Salim, Shahzadeh Bayezid, and Shahzadeh Jahangir. Number 2 The meaning of her name is Sun and Moon. In Persian, the meaning of Mehram is Sun and Moon or Moon of the Suns. She was known as Kamiria to the Western world, a variant of the Arabic word Kamariya, which means of the moon. Sometimes, she was also known as the Han Sultan, which means Madam Princess. Number 3 She got married at the age of 17. Mehrimah Sultan got married when she was just 17 years old on the 26th of November 1539 in the Old Palace. She married with Rustam Pasha who was the governor of Tabakra and later became the Grand Vizier of her father Suleiman the Magnificent in 1544. Her wedding ceremony occurred on the same day of her younger brothers Bayezid and Jahangir's circumcision. The collective celebration of these festivities lasted for 15 days. Mehrimah Sultan and Rustam had one daughter named Eshor Humashah who was born on 25 August 1547. Some historian says that they had a son too named Osman. Number 4 She was one of the advisor to her father Suleiman the Magnificent. After the death of her mother Haram Sultan, she took her mother's place as the advisor to her father Sultan Suleiman. He had confidence in her as the closest relative. In his absence from the capital for the conquest, she used to advise him, sending him news about the political issues and forward him the important letters for his consideration. According to some sources, she was also most likely one of the others who support Sultan Suleiman's decision to launch a campaign against Hungary in 1566, where he met his death. 
but some other sources state that she was against it. Number 5 She acted like the Valid Sultans to her brother Sultan Selim II. Mihama Sultan continued to act as the advisor to her brother Sultan Selim II when he ascended the throne in 1566. She became the chief of Ottoman imperial harem like the Valide Sultans during the reign of Selim II, as their mother died eight years earlier. Her position was to run all the affairs in the harem. Number 6 She was blamed for the downfall of her half-brother Sayyid Mustafa. Although there is no proof but it was widely believed that Haram and Mahrama Sultan were might be involved in the downfall of her half-brother Sayyid Mustafa. According to the Ottoman historians and some foreign sources indicate that Haram, Rustam, and Mahrama worked for the elimination of Shah Zayd Mustafa to ensure the throne to Haram's son and Mahrama's full brother, Bezid. Later, this rivalry ended when Mustafa was executed on the command of his own father in 1553. Number 7 She was one of the wealthiest princess in the Ottoman history. Beside her great political intelligence, Mihama Sultan also had access to considerable economic resources and often funded major architectural projects. She also used to help her brother Sultan Selim to financially in the time of his need. In his early reign, she gave him 50,000 gold coins. Number 8 Mahrama Sultan sponsored many architectural and charity projects. Mihrama Sultan sponsored a number of architectural and charity projects. Out of these, the most famous are the two mosque complexes in Istanbul that bear her name, both are designed by the chief architect, Mimar Sinan. The mosque in Yuskada has twin minaret and it is a prominent landmark of the area. The complex consisted of a mosque, a madrasa, a soup kitchen to feed the poor, a clinic, and a primary school. While the mosque in Eden Cap has a single minaret and consists of a fountain, madrasa, and hammam. For the spring in Mecca, she commissioned for the renovation of Zubaydah Canal, and also established a foundation to supply wrought iron to the navy. Number 9 Rumors about the love of Mimar Sinan for Mihrama Sultan Either it's true or not but it is said that the famous chief imperial architect of 16th century Mimar Sinan was in love with Mihrama Sultan. According to a story, he first saw her while she was accompanying her father during the Sultan's campaign to Moldova. Mimar Sinan built a bridge spanning the Prut River in just 13 days just to impress her. He even asked for her hand in marriage but her father rejected his proposal. It is said that after this he poured his heart into his architecture work. He built beautiful mosques in Istanbul and dedicated them to Mehrama Sultan. According to a myth, as Mehrama means sun and moon, in March, on her birthday, while the sun goes down from Mehrama Sultan Eden Akapi Mosque. The moon rises from the other Mehrama Sultan Mosque located in Yuskada.
Number 10 She was the only one of Suleiman's children to be buried in his tomb. After living longer than all of her siblings, Muhammad Sultan died on 25 January 1578 at the age of 55 in Istanbul. She was the only one of Sultan Suleiman's children to be buried in his tomb in the Suleymaniye Mosque complex.